What is going on everyone, Jojo here and welcome back to PlayStation Nation and if you're new to the channel, welcome, how are you all doing? So today I'm giving a little review to the PlayStation Pro, uh, I bought the console as soon as it came out on the 10th, pre-ordered it, had the fast track pass to EB Games and uh, yeah, so I thought I'd give it a little review just to give you all a heads up, alright, so we all know that We've already got the PlayStation 4 game console that's out. It's already really popular. Uh, really, it's, it's, it's only targeted for three specific groups of people. And that's like people who don't own a PlayStation 4 already and are interested in buying one and want the most powerful version of the PS4 that is already out. Uh, two, people who don't own a PS4 and who are interested in buying one who own a 4K television and people who don't own the PS4 already who own a 4K television and are willing to pay well like over $400 to utilize it with PlayStation 4 games so I mean if you fit into that category the PlayStation 4 Pro might actually really be for you you know but you know uh, I came across a slight little glitch on the console you know and I've already rang up uh, Sony PlayStation Australia and got into contact with them and you know when you hate it when they go oh well I'm, I'm really sorry to hear that but that's a first that's what I got you know and basically what happened is that I was uh, I was playing Doom and uh, yeah, pretty pretty much the the whole console just froze on me. Like I went on to the PS menu where you can see all your applications. Uh, like I could not turn the console off. Um, I could not go onto the quick start menu by holding the PS button. Uh, like I mean, I've I've got the Bloodborne Platinum theme as my background, and when I pressed up to go to where the PlayStation Plus logo, your friends, communities, messages, ra ra ra. I couldn't get to it. It was just a complete grey screen. And, you know, like, then I pressed the quick menu, uh, tried to go to the power, I went out, clicked over, I tried to turn the PlayStation 4 off, blank screen. And then when I exited that and then done it again and restarted the PS4, the whole entire screen went blank and then went square triangle x circle and done the little rotation loading screen thing and it was just a black background so it was and it just stayed like that it did not load did not change did not restart and it, it happened twice to me you know and i actually had to pull the cord out and yeah it, it, was, it was it was fucked <laughs> So, but besides that, and then basically they troubleshooted it, um, Sony sent me an email, they gave me this download and everything, and they basically wanted me to re-utilize the, the format of the hardware or something on, on the, uh, yeah, basically that, like they thought it could, basically what it is with the update is that they think there could have been a, a bug or a glitch or an error that, uh, cause what just happens when you've done the download update and there's not much they re really do about it about besides reutilize the update like type thing i didn't lose any of my applications you know uh but besides that like it's been going really well um yeah so it's it's like would i recommend getting one uh unless you own a 4k tv yeah you know it's it's like if you want to get one for Christmas, yeah, you get one for Christmas, but you could probably save yourself a hundred dollars and get the normal PlayStation. I mean, because the it's a one terabyte console, but even though it says it's one terabyte, it's it's not one terabyte. You know, like as soon as you get it, it's eight hundred and sixty point five gigabyte guys. You know, it's 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 not one terabyte. Uh, like every every laptop, every computer system in the world, like. It says it's like 500 gigabytes. It's not going to be 500 gigabytes. It's going to be like 480 something. You know, they they always they always cheat you on that a little bit. You know, but yeah. Besides that, but you know, it's it, the PlayStation 4 Pro is without 
precedence. Uh, but this this is how usually things work. You know, a game console maker like Sony or like the, the, the Microsoft Xbox or Nintendo announces a console, a release date and a price. Uh, the console launches at a really, really high price. And, you know, that, that price always drops with over the next five to ten years. And as as like console sales decline rapidly, the cycle repeats. And with the the PS4 Pro, that cycle is being broken. Like yes, this is the most powerful version of the PlayStation 4 that has ever come out. And you know it's more powerful than the original PlayStation 4 that launched in 2013. It's uh, it's capable of producing games in high resolution in the 4K and running older games more smoothly and adding more visual effects more than ever, you know, but in short, all in all, it makes already existing PlayStation 4 games look more prettier than they already are, you know, and it's it's slightly larger than the current PlayStation 4, like the slim model that they've got now, um, it's it's a lot, lot bigger, I like, it's it looks like an extra layer of cake that they've they've put on to the PlayStation 4 Pro, and you know it's it's nearly as identical, um, and it weighs a shit ton, you know, but <laughs> it weighs so much, you know. But, um, yeah, I mean, let's let's be clear, the the PlayStation 4 Pro is a perfectly good PlayStation 4 console, like. Despite like despite being slightly larger and more powerful, it's not louder or worse in any way than the original standard PS4. Um, there is one simple argument that why you'd get the non-pro PlayStation 4 price. You're looking at a hundred dollar difference between the two consoles, brand new, and especially if you don't own a 4k television it's meaningless getting a playstation 4 pro so if you're planning on buying a 4k tv and you still don't own a playstation 4 like buy the pro you know um i mean because who, who don't want to like watch their games peek at the prettiness you know it's 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 all about the graphics these days you know and um yeah, but not every game will look better on the PS4 Pro. You know, it's like Yeah, I mean that's that's all I can uh, that's all I can give you on this one. Uh I mean again the the PlayStation 4 Pro is a fantastic console, but that's largely because the play, normal PlayStation 4 is already a fantastic console it's such a fantastic console you know it's it's the next generation of gaming and like the benefits that will come from the playstation 4 pro like the 4k resolution output like higher horsepower like the cpu and rah, 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 it's only a matter to a small subset to the overall sony playstation audience right now as, like as 4k resolution televisions become more standard the the pro will make more sense so but right now as in november 2016 it's like it the playstation 4 pro doesn't feel like a solution it feels more like yeah it's not a solution to anything yet i mean like as 4k televisions as they all come down in price which they they surely will like it will it will come towards like making more sense to get a pro so yeah anyway i hope the review was helpful to you don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the page check out the social media on my facebook and my twitter uh if you'd like to help me out make content and just just help me out overall because you know it's 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 pretty hard doing this since you can't work anymore like go check out my patreon and uh yeah so thanks for the views guys and I hope you're having a great day and keep on gaming. Peace. Oh, and just a heads up. My giveaway ends tomorrow on the 21st of November. I will be revealing the winner uh, at 6 p.m. Western Standard Western Time. So, yeah, if you want to get into that, you got one more day to do it. 
Cheers, boys and girls and gamers and gamettes. And woo! Bye.